everybody, it's Kendra. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. So my video today is going to be a CSA unboxing. So CSA stands for Community Supported Agriculture, in case you have never heard that term. Um, so basically it's a program where you pay a chunk of money up front uh, in the spring. I think I paid in January. I think they had like a deal if you paid in full before February 14th, you got like 25 bucks to spend on something else. So always the deal taker. Um, so yeah, anyway, so you pay the money up front in the spring and that allows the farm to buy seeds and supplies and you know, pay for employees. Um, and then once the growing season begins, you get a weekly or bi-weekly share of vegetables. Some CSAs do also have fruit um, and some do meat. I know the one that we're doing, I think they do have beef and pork. I'm not sure if they're doing anything else, but we're not doing the meat one. So the CSA that we are doing is coming from Harmony Valley Farm, which is located in Viroqua, Wisconsin, which is a beautiful area. Um, and I know that Harmony Valley mainly comes to the Madison area and Madison, Wisconsin, and then Minneapolis. So if you're like anywhere kind of between like Viroqua and Minneapolis, Viroqua and Madison, um, I know they do make a couple stops along the way, but most of the service areas uh, are in Madison or Minneapolis. And if you are interested in doing the CSA, I know that you can still sign up. Like we're only on week two of the CSA. Uh, let's get into it. So week one was actually basically the same thing as week two. So this is perfect. So I can tell you exactly what I got in week one because I have it here in this week's box bag of stuff. So one thing with the plastic bag, cause like, yeah, you know, you see a giant plastic bag and you think, okay, farming, organic, like, oh, not so sustainable. Um, the reason they have the plastic bags is because of the pandemic, because usually you go to your CSA pickup site um, and there's a box. Usually you would just take the box, take the box home, unload the box, and then return the box the next week but because they don't want all these boxes like going everywhere and then coming back and you know spreading germs all around um basically when i go to the csa site i take a box like i tick off my name i take a box i open it up i take out this bag and then i fold up the box and i leave the box on the site so if you're sort of looking at this like oh my gosh that's a csa but it's using an awful lot of plastic it's because of the pandemic Okie doke, so the first thing I've got is a half pound bag of spinach, and this is their overwintered spinach, and we had this last week. And like, when I took a bite of this, I was just like, this is what real spinach tastes like. Like, I buy the big, you know, pound containers of spinach at Costco and other stores, and they're organic and yeah, 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 but it's not the same. Like, this was just fabulous. Oh, so good. Just big, beautiful leaves. And like, you get some of these, like these cute little bunches. So cute. Mmm, so good. That is what spinach is supposed to taste like. All right, now the next thing I got actually was not in last week's pickup. And this was the only thing that uh, was different um, for the vegetables. There are like a couple items I'll talk about at the end. But anywho, this is sorrel, S-O-R-R-E-L. I don't know what this is. I've never had it. Some type of green. It kind of smells slightly lemony. Oh, wow, that's so lemony. It's really good, but it's really lemony. You never guess that. Whoa, like, really lemony. Hmm. Interesting. I know on their website they had talked about putting this into soups and also smoothies, so I could get that. I think that would be really nice in a smoothie. All right, friends, hipster alert. We're coming in hot with some ramps here. So these are ramps. I know I had never heard this before like two years ago. So ramps have become very trendy in the foodie world. Um, these are wild onions essentially, and these have been foraged. So I've got three nice bunches of ramps. I got three bunches of ramps last week as well, um, and I used them to make some pesto, and I'm actually gonna film that video probably for next week. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be using some ramps and some other stuff that I'm yet to get to in this uh, in this box. But anywho, 
super yummy you can use the whole thing which I love because this I mean this is delicious and there's so much you know greenery here and this is gonna make a beautiful beautiful pesto so yum and I know this is actually their last week for ramp so I'm gonna make a batch of pesto I'm gonna freeze half of it and I don't know use the rest of it for all kinds of other yummy stuff all right next we have some chives um we had these last week oh, it was so good like you know you think chives like oh whatever it's nothing special I had some homemade gluten-free sourdough bread toasted with half an avocado and I sliced up some chives it was just like when I took a bite I just thought this is what food is supposed to taste like it was just so fresh and just so flavorful and just such a beautiful beautiful thing mm, so good all right and next up we've got some green garlic um, I get so excited talking about vegetables. Um, so this looks like a green onion, but it actually is garlic. You can use the whole thing. I mean, some of these ends are slightly yellow, so I'll probably whack those off. But I am going to add some of this into my ramp pesto as well. Mm. All right, and then next up we have some nettles. So you'll notice I am not touching the nettles. These are stinging nettles. I mean, I think all nettles are considered stinging nettles. So these have like little fuzzies on them. Um, and if you get that on you, you, yeah, they'll sting. Like they are kind of painful. Uh, not like go to the hospital bad painful, but you'll definitely feel some irritation on your skin for a couple hours. So I got these last week and I actually used them in my pesto. What did I do with them last week? I did pesto with one bunch. I had a second bunch because my girlfriend also does a CSA and she hates nettles, so I get her nettles. But she does the bi-weekly one, so she didn't get nettles again this week. Um, so yeah, I used... What did I do with them? I put them in soup. That's it. I put them in soup. Um, basically, they kind of remind me of like cooked spinach once they've been cooked. Um, so the way I like to use them is just to heat up some water, get some water boiling, and then blanch these for a couple minutes. Because um, once you blanch them, the sting is gone. And then actually, when I did that, I saved that water and I just, you know, just put it into a bottle like I filtered it out just in case there was any dirt or debris or anything um, and I put it in a bottle and I drank it throughout the week as tea um, because nettle is very very mineral dense like very very good thing like you got to get past the stinging part and you got to kind of figure out what to do with them but these are so good to incorporate into your diet and I'm also going to be putting these in my pesto video as well all right next up I have a nice bunch of asparagus lovely nice and crisp oh i love it like this has been in my fridge for a couple days and i kept thinking like huh, i gotta film this video because i don't want that stuff sitting there it's perfectly fine because it was picked you know super super fresh it wasn't picked like two weeks ago so it's okay yum and then also i got some parsnips so we got some overwintered parsnips we also got these last week again every veg i'm talking about we got last week except for the sorrel so with my parsnips last week um i used three of them and i made a gluten-free vegan carrot cake which i will link below for the recipe um so that was delicious but i learned that i should not make a whole cake like a layer cake for myself because my husband doesn't really like sweets um so i gave like a third of it away to my friend with the nettles i froze about a third of it and then i ate the rest um so yeah i made carrot cake with some of these because parsnips are like carrots slightly different different texture it's definitely easier to grate a carrot than it is to grate a parsnip but then i also made soup like with all the rest like kind of at the end of the csa I just used a whole bunch of stuff and made soup. Maybe I'll do a video on that this week because maybe I'll do another soup. And then the last thing I have, uh, I have a whole bunch of sunchokes. So we got this many sunchokes. So let me set these down and just show you what one looks like. So they're kind of this like naughty looking funky root sort of thing. Um, these are also called Jerusalem artichokes. 
People say they have an artichoke flavor. I don't know, you can roast them, you can slice them and eat them raw. Uh, I think all of these last week went into that soup I talked about. Now, one quick little fact, fun fact about sunchokes, if you are like, oh my gosh, I have to try sunchokes. These have a special type of fiber called inulin and it can make you super gassy if you eat a lot of them and you're not used to it. So if you're like jumping on the sun choke train and suddenly you're like, toot, 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 what is going on with my body? It's the inulin. All right, so that is it for veg. Um, everything I shared today is what we got in our week two box. And then it's also all a repeat from what we got in week one, except for that sorrel. But in week one, we also got a little calendar, you know, showing pictures of the farm. It gives you, you know, delivery info. And then it also talks a lot about how like how the farm runs like okay on june 8th we're transplanting pumpkin plants for the harvest party like stuff like that so they get really really in depth of what is happening on the farm and then also this csa has something they called a choice item uh and that i th i think it happens every week i don't know maybe it's every week or just when they have extra stuff so it's basically like hey we have these things if you want it you can take it like it's not actually in the box it's just set off to the side so last week the choice item was called a pollinator pack so it's a little nine pack of plants and these are all i believe these are all perennials and these are meant to attract uh you know the birds and the bees and the butterflies and all the pollinators so i've got some friends i think i'm going to give these to unless i can visit my parents Soon. I might take these up to my parents, but I don't know what I'm getting up there next. Um, so yeah, we got a pollinator pack as our choice item last week. And then our choice item this week was this cool bundle of willow. Like, so I think these, the ones without the fuzzies, I think are regular willow. I don't know. And then these kind of fluffy ones like, are pussy willows, I think. And then these are like mini pussy willows. And then there's some red sticks too. I don't know, it's really pretty. So I'm gonna, you know, take the rubber bands off and put it in a vase and be all fancy like that. Um, but yeah, I guess the CSA plants willow trees in between like their fields um, to prevent, I think, erosion, to help with the wind, and then also to provide a sanctuary, like a home for birds and animals and all the little critters that we need in nature pretty i think it's so cute all right so there you go that is what i got from weeks one and two of our csa from harmony valley farm um also if you are really into cooking or you're gardening or maybe you're doing a csa this season as well um if you need some recipe ideas i'm gonna put a link for this uh this farm's blog down below because they have such an amazing library of recipes Every week they send out a newsletter and they do a blog post and they say, okay, here's exactly what you're getting and here are several recipes for how to use each thing. And then they also often have recipes that incorporate many of the things in that week's box. Cause you know, I'm getting this every week. That can be a lot. So you really wanna like get on top of it and use your stuff. Cause I mean, I don't want any of this stuff to waste, to go to waste. So if you are doing a CSA this summer, I would love to know about it. What are you doing? What are you getting? Are you excited about it? Tell me everything. So I hope you guys are doing great. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.